Welcome to this first of five in a series, in a mini series of visibility, but not just any visibility. It's all about iconic visibility, because if you have been snooping around my pages, my stages and the places that I frequent, you'll know that I've been talking about iconic. So I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about what it means to be iconically visible. Now, I have got some notes to keep me on track. These are mini series. And because I want to make the best use of your time, these will be short, sharp, 30 minute series and they will disappear. So here's how this is going to work every day for the next five days. And you'll get a little notification in advance because you might be watching this on Facebook, on the Queen of Being Seen page. You may be watching this on YouTube at Jenny Kovacs, or you might even be watching this on LinkedIn, which is, again, Jenny Kovacs on LinkedIn. You'll find me there. You'll see that I'm the queen of being seen. You'll see that I'm the visibility specialist or the visibility queen. So if you are watching this, whether it's live or on the replay, and you get any nuggets from this, please do share what they are. Um, please share with someone else who might need to hear this too. So this is going to be about a five day journey into the world of iconic visibility. And you will see me um, just check in the time because I don't want to go over the 30 minutes. I'll make sure my phone's on silent, of course. Um, here's why I um, decided to put this mini series together. I want to do it in easily digestible nuggets. I want to let you know that I'll also be making an invitation over the next five days for you to take the next step if that's what's right for you. Um, but I also want to do it in a way that you can grab great information and do something with it, whether that's food for thought, whether that will take you on the next step of your own visibility journey. So if you have been inconsistent in some way when it comes to being visible, there are lots of different reasons um, for that, and I'm not going to beat you up about it. Um, but what I am going to say is this is all about helping you to stay in the spotlight and more importantly, even your work to stay in the spotlight instead of falling off a wagon. So if you've been inconsistent, there'll be um, reasons why but this um, mini series or part one of this mini series will help. If you have fallen off the wagon once, twice, many times, You'll love what I'm going to share here when it comes to being visible. If you've done your thing for a while, maybe you're not, you know, a newbie at this. Maybe it's not your first rodeo. Um, I'm going to share some stuff that I think you'll find insightful and you'll also find um, highly useful. The thing that I do know about many of the people um, that I am fortunate enough and blessed to work with and that do follow my work and follow my journey is that you feel like you've learned enough already. Maybe you've been in the game for a while and you've kind of transitioned what you're doing into something else. Maybe you've decided to add an extra thing onto the offering that you that you use. Um, and there are a percentage of you that have tried this before. You know, you've done the burnout piece. You've burnt out because you've done the 24-7 across all of social media, out there, here, there and everywhere. And you've just decided that that's not for you anymore. Well, the good news is all of for all of this, none of this is about burning out. None of this is about being on 24 seven. In fact, you're probably wondering, well, Jenny, why are you sharing this then as a visibility queen? What, what is it you're sharing? Why? So my name is Jenny Kovacs. I'm, I'm really passionate about the field of visibility and have been um, doing this really in the personal and professional development world since 2010 in my own business. I've been working with business owners. I've been working with authors, consultants, but I've also worked with companies and I've worked with big brands, big corporations, some of which I can never share. We sign an NDA and that's OK, because me flashing their name in front of you doesn't really help you understand what it is to be iconic. But here's the reason why I, I'm sharing this mini series. I know that in the past I've struggled with the notion of. I guess 
putting content out there, repeatedly being put out there. I struggled with this notion that in order to be visible, um, that it was all about the hustle, all about kind of nailing people down, all about this constant churn of something that goes far beyond business development. It was all around hunter gathering. It was around putting yourself out there. You know, some people will tell you it's a numbers game. And whilst that's true, um, you know, putting yourself in front of hundreds and thousands of people with no results actually chips away at your confidence, makes you question what you're doing, makes you second guess the work you do. And sometimes it leaves um, really great enlightening clues, but often it has you wanting to stop the work that you want to do. And when your work is iconic, that's not going to be you. So I can share some of the things that I've done differently for myself that made a difference. I think whilst that's a really good thing to, to do, I can also share what some of the clients, um, you know, clients that I've worked with have got out of doing things differently, the things that actually got them the gig, and they're not the things that you might think. So today, while we're talking about a journey into the world of visibility, and iconic visibility at that, what I really want to share with you is how to stay in the spotlight instead of falling off the wagon. Because when you think about being visible, that's normally what we think of doing. But there's po possibly different ways that you've never thought of putting yourself out there and being visible. So I guess it would be um, prudent for me to talk about visibility, like what it is specifically and why it's even important. So let's start with what visibility and iconic visibility specifically is. Iconic visibility is all about your ability. And by the way, if you are commenting, thank you so much. Um, I will look at the comments afterwards. In some places, it won't allow me to, um, to respond back to you and others it will. So rather than doing this at you all the time and picking up my phone and looking at your comments um, whilst we're streaming, let me just deliver this, give you the information that you need. But if you've got questions, do get them in live while we're speaking. If not, Come and join me, same time, same place tomorrow. So what is iconic visibility? So iconic is, a, is or, or being iconically visible is about your ability to get going and keep going. So I appreciate that for some of you, you're not new, you're not kind of starting up, you're not new to this game. But there'll be a momentum that if you've just kind of been inconsistent or you've fallen off some form of wagon, that you'll need to crank up the engine and start again or restart. What it isn't about, it isn't about doing it to your detriment where you burn out, doing it where you never get time to spend with your kids, your fur babies, the grandchildren, um, or doing it in a way that feels out of integrity. So you shop one way online and live another way offline. That's not visibility. There's a statistic that I share when I give talks, whether it's to corporates or to business groups. And at these talks and keynotes, I talk about the importance of being in the biggest percentage of numbers that are constantly visible. So there are people that are in the kind of 63% of constantly being visible, constantly being out there and consistently, um, you know, putting themselves in front of places where opportunities actually come to them rather than them chasing it down. And what's sad about that number of people are the people who aren't in it. So just place yourself in whichever of these quadrants you're in. So there's a small percentage of people who are really great at what they do, like really great at what they do. They know their topic matter inside out. They might see people on screen and watch people on TV, read people in magazines and think their knowledge is great, but I could actually do that. I actually know as much as them, if not more. The only problem with that is like statistics shows and studies show that those people are not likely to be recommended and not likely to be promoted and not likely to get the gigs that they're looking for. And that saddens me. That's part of the reason why I do the work that I do. The next statistic of people shows that they know all of the things about their work and their job, but they play some sort of game where they're polite 
they do what's expected and asked of them. They don't tread on anyone's toes. They don't step over lines. And I'm not saying that to be visible that you have to do that. 